Hi Estelle, Davidian here with your five minute human design guidance session that you received in our recent giveaway. I'll pack in as much as possible, starting with you being a projector, which is the typical starting point. As a projector, your strategy for success, which can also be noted as a sense felt feeling of appreciation, is waiting to be recognized for what you have to offer first and personally invited, aka asked before offering your advice, insights, or offerings. Otherwise, when you attempt to share your knowledge or your gifts, they'll more likely fall on deaf ears, or your ideas could even be stolen, sometimes innocently. It's like you just become invisible or like an anonymous presence, and that is a horrible, bitterness-inducing place to find yourself. So it's key that you pay attention to who is paying attention to you and who isn't. You're not here to convince people with demonstrations or pleas that you should be listened to. So if you're selling apples, make sure you're spending time in areas that appreciate apples and not trying to convince banana people they should be into your apples, if that makes any sense. Read the room and the writing on the wall when it's time to set up shop elsewhere or find a more appreciative friend circle that actually appreciates what you have to say and offer, particularly your leadership and strong sense of direction, moral or otherwise. Anything less, frankly, is beneath you. No offense or ill will to the party remaining required. They're simply not on your fractal. Neither you on theirs. As Jean, Jean de, la de la Fontaine, Fontaine said, said, rare, rare as, as is, is true love, love true, true friendship, friendship is, rare. is rare. And that leading with your strong sense of direction, of which I speak, is your capital T truth. And that may not be true for others' benefits. That's based on their own inner authorities. But for you, it's not something you can ever compromise without bitterness inducing or other deleterious effects. So... You're here to be selfish when it comes to choosing where to go or how to get there. You're not here to try lots of different things unless that is an Estelle thing to do. You're only here to do things that are totally you things to do. Not experiment with going different places, trying new foods, or taking any actions that you're performing strictly for someone else's benefit or just to get along. This is an area you mustn't compromise when it comes to making compromises, or it will misplace you with wrong coordinates, causing you to experience wrong places, wrong timing, wrong experiences, wrong associations, wrong invitations, just wrong. The thing is, with your undefined solar plexus, standing in your power, in your truth, is often easier said than done, especially when doing so exposes you to lots of uncomfortable, off-putting, or sometimes aggressive emotions from the other. That's of course when the other has a defined emotional system, or that you create one together through an electromagnetic connection. That's not to say you can't be vicious when you're backed into a corner. When confronted, sometimes it can feel like assaulted, with other people's uncomfortable emotional material, you may choose not to rock the boat, whilst your inner compass is screaming for you to choose a different path or at least stop proceeding down the one you're currently on. Since you're not built for confrontation on the reg, heed your strategy and authority when it tells you there is a confrontation where Worth having. And in your case, those appropriate confrontations include disagreements in leadership, where you're headed, etc. So where does your aura strategy figure into this? If you aren't even recognized where you are, in whatever setting, with whoever you're with, then that argument may not even be worth your breath. You don't belong there anyway. But if you're indeed recognized and therefore have a voice there that people want to hear and your compass says, no, this is not the way that will lead to whatever you perceive as a desirable outcome, then it behooves you to speak up. Sort of in the same vein as, I'm not going that way. I'm not saying you need to go the way I'm going. You can come with me in this other direction, but I'm not going to go or continue to go in that direction. So if you're not going to join me in pivoting here, we may need to gracefully part ways. Ever been in this scenario? Another thing, you're not here to lead a hurried lifestyle. You're not here to be in a hurry. Being pinched for time, facing time constraints or deadlines. That type of cortisol spike spells very bad news for your health. If it becomes your lifestyle instead of just a temporary situation. And with your undefined sacral, you may often not know when enough is enough and recognize that you're out of juice and running on empty and grinding your gears, staying on that hamster wheel because you just want to be done with the task at hand and be free from that pressure of it hanging over your head. That can also lead to a health crisis or at least a pretty shitty case of insomnia. Lots more to discuss, but I hope that helps for now in whatever way it did or will. Good journey, Estelle.